Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I just want to talk about everyday carry knives. Now, I've talked on the channel before about the CRKT drifter knife, which I had gotten from a recommendation of the wirecutter.com. You can see it's just a simple thumb stud knife. It's got a liner lock here uh, that uh, locks the blade in place. You can one-handed operation, close the knife, deploy the blade. Just an all-around good knife, good action, and something that when you put it in your pocket, you can forget about it. I've removed the clip. I always remove the clips typically. Uh, I don't like them. Some people love them, but it's something that uh, I came up with, right? And then recently, and I've tried other knives, other forays. This is a Benchmade mini bug out knife, and this has been great, but it's not the kind of knife that I want to carry every day, you know, for fear of losing the knife or having it stolen or something like that. But uh, excellent knife, good weight, also very lightweight. I always prefer a smaller knife. I don't want something that's too big. But recently I, I discovered these Civivi blades that are flipper knives and they got an excellent fit and finish. Uh, you see I've got th uh, three of them here, but they come in this uh, nice white box from Civivi and uh, you have a, a case they come in that zips shut, unzip the case, it comes with a really nice cloth. This isn't just some sort of cheap micro microfiber cloth, it's really a, a sort of a felt cloth, it's really nice quality. You've got some decals in there and stuff, but knife comes in here. I've got one that's uh, in black, so you can see what those scales look like. So there's the black version of the knife. But excellent blades in general. Now this is the uh, these blades are the uh, what they call the aluminum. All right, so the Civivi aluminum, and really popular knife. Also has the liner lock, just like that CRKT Drifter knife I just spoke of, but it's got a sort of a beefier liner lock in it. And you can just sort of push that over one hand and close the blade. But instead of having a thumb stud like the drifter, right? You can see the thumb stud here on the, on the drifter. It's got that flipper here on the back that you flip with your finger. And, you know, you can really operate it in a lot of different positions. Very easy to deploy the blade and return it. So excellent knives. I like these because they're not really that much different in size from something like the CRKT drifter, right? You can see they're pretty close to the same size. I mean, the Civivi is definitely you know, a little bigger, a little beefier, certainly feels like it's higher quality, uh, but just got it here in some different scales. This one's actually in micarta, this brown one. So that's something that uh, is pretty neat, whereas these others are, are G10 scales, the gray and the black, but same blade or knife otherwise, uh, just uh, different uh, scales on this particular one. Now, I also have here the Elementum 2, and you can see here it's got a button lock, and that's really the major difference between this knife and the original Elementum, but I wanted to try it out and get familiar with it. Now this has got a natural, what they call a natural scale, so it probably looks a little bit, you know, greenish, but it's really translucent and has maybe a, a, just a hint of, of green in it when you look at it. But uh, the, the idea here is that you have a button lock and you can release by just pressing the button and the blade comes back in. Now the difference being that this Elementum 2 is, it's a little bit thicker than the Elementum 1 right? So it's a little bit thicker, about two millimeters. It's a little bit longer by about two millimeters. And it's a little bit heavier, I think, by about a half an ounce. So there's some trade-offs in terms of size and weight to get this uh, button lock mechanism. You can see here it sort of locks in the back. I don't know if you can see this or not, but yeah, the button, we can see it better when we have it a little bit open here. Yeah, you can see the button right here. And if we bring it up slowly, you'll see that button pops across and locks in. But it's tapered so it stays tight no matter what. You can see it right there. So anyway, that's a uh, personal preference, I, I guess. You know, for me, uh, I kind of like the idea of the, uh, the, the original Elementum because it's um, a little bit lighter, a little bit thinner. Again, it gets back to being more like this uh, CRKT Drifter where it's um, something you can put in your pocket and forget about. So excellent fit and finish, good price. You know, I recently uh, lost my CRKT Drifter. I, of course, ordered a replacement. So the kind of knives that you can, you know, lose or break or, you know, whatever, and not, uh, you know, and replace. And really, you know, you can uh, put them to work and not be so concerned about, you know, damage or that sort of thing. And, you know, to me, the Civivis are really, you know, fascinating in that you get such a high quality knife. I, I would, most knives, I would think you, to me, if I saw this and didn't know better, I would think it was, you know, a knife that was much more expensive. So really an excellent uh, fit and finish on these Civivis. Uh, just wanted to show those real quick. 
Um, so, you know, for me though, like if I'm doing some really heavy work or something, which I'm sure probably like most of you, I'm going to be using a, you know, a, a disposable blade on a utility knife, like the Stanley 99E, right? Something I can go out, damage, not worry about the blade. Like if you're cutting open concrete bags for a concrete mixer, that sort of thing, you know, I don't want to be using my pocket knife that I want to be ready at a moment's notice. I want this thing sharp all the time and know that it's uh, reliable. Uh, so that's it. Just a word on Civivi knives. Uh, thought I'd uh, show these and, and uh, see where I've been, where my thinking has been on these uh, everyday carry knives. So with that said, uh, there'll be links to all these items in the description. And please remember to like and subscribe and, and, and let me know what you think. If you have a knife you like better or what you think of these, if you tried them out, what's your uh, favorite EDC knife, the one you actually carry every day. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.